This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Designing the right vehicle for a fully autonomous solar hydrofoil mission hasn't been without problems, but it is working very well now, so allow me to show you how we got here before moving on to the final phase of the project. The project started with this little guy, about as simple a workable hydrofoil that I could conceive with no moving surfaces and two motors for steering. Except for insufficient steering control, it worked quite well, so I quickly scaled up to this one with a movable rudder, and at this larger scale, the problems really started showing up. The main problem I was chasing was foil ventilation. Air would suddenly travel down the trailing edge of the foil from above the water surface, and then the water would separate completely from the top of the foil, and the vehicle would crash. I seemingly tried everything to rectify the problem, from foil fences to different foil shapes to wet sanding to 2000 grit. Nothing worked. Then I tried making the foil penetrate the water surface at a much steeper angle, and that solved the problem entirely. The reason is simple. The shallower the angle is on the foil, the lower the pressure is over the top of the foil. The lower the pressure is, the easier it is for the air to ventilate and then stall the foil completely. This small-scale hydrofoil was fairly inefficient, as most small flying contraptions usually are, and was unable to sustain power through solar alone. A larger hydrofoil would be more efficient and handle bigger wave conditions as well, so being confident that most of the configuration problems were solved, I got started on a much larger hydrofoil. I had learned from the last hydrofoil that I probably shouldn't bother with solar cells until I had the vehicle working well. There's more buoyancy in the back than the front. As the motor spools up, the nose just kind of pushes down in the water. So we need to reduce the flotation in the rear so that it sits at a more positive angle so that when the motor kicks in, it just rises out of the water and then does its thing instead of plowing. I also increased the lateral distance between the front hydrofoils for more stability. And things were working well, so it was time to finish up the hydrofoil minus the solar cells. My first impressions out of the lake were that the foils were great at naturally maintaining ride height no matter what speed you were going, they weren't ventilating, and the vessel was very stable in turns. But that was a calm morning, and my first impressions were deceiving. Herein lies the problem with self-stabilizing foils at this scale. I need a big platform for a lot of solar cells, and in calm conditions the foils support all that weight just fine. But if a gust of wind gets under that huge platform that is already 100% supported by the foils, then you just got a whole lot of free lift, and there isn't anything the self-stabilizing foils can do to nullify the sudden additional lift. In this case, self-stabilizing foils were too simple a solution. At this point, I had no choice. I needed a fully stabilized platform if this project was to have any chance of success. As you guys can see, there is a lot of square space here for me to put a lot of solar cells on. I like Squarespace a lot, not only because they're sponsoring today's video, but also because they help somebody like me, who knows absolutely nothing about creating a great website, create a great website. When Squarespace offered to sponsor this video, I headed over to their website to see if they would be a good fit for this channel. Since I need a website to meet future goals, I began setting up a site to see if their tools could produce a great looking and functioning website easily for me, a complete novice. Squarespace does just that, and so I will be hosting the site I am building on their platform through them. With their easy to use templates and intuitive editing tools, even a complete novice like me can build a great website to get their message out to the world, create an online website to sell their products, use the included video studio to post original content, you name it. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. 
And when you're ready to launch, use this URL on the screen or the link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, friends, here is the completed hydrofoil that we're going to go with. Uh, it's just uh, ready for solar cells. So I'm running Ardu Pilot in here. I've got a pretty big lithium ion battery in there. You can see it's a trifoiler. So on this, I have rudder. These foils, the whole foil moves, not just the trailing edge and leading edge. Okay, so to go up, the foils move forward. To go down, the foils move back. And then rolling is just moving them in opposition. Oh my, what's this? What is it? Wow, so these are going to be the air motors that propel this. That propel? The, the, the manned hydrofoil. These two motors are going to propel this 300 pound craft. Mm. Yes. And then I have a LiDAR unit there to control the altitude. And this red switch, when I turn it on, that turns on the LiDAR for automatic height control above the water. And you can see the pivot points. It's just a carbon tube inside of a carbon sleeve. And I put some uh, lubrication between the carbon tube and the carbon sleeve. And the carbon tube, or the carbon sleeve, I should say, is epoxied in place on the foil. And then these servos just drive the foils. We're going with a beautiful wooden Zor prop, most beautiful props in the world. And there is its big brother, the optionally manned hydrofoil in the middle of being fiberglass. A lot of changes had been made and I eagerly headed to the lake to see if the effect had been positive. There were a few gremlins to sort out, but it did seem like I had a lot more control right away. It took a while to figure out, but for the first time ever, I ended up having to put capacitors on a speed control in a four cell system. I went through quite a few speed controllers to figure that out, and I'm not sure why this system in particular demanded it. If you have an idea, please leave it in the comments. One morning, with all the bugs worked out, I flipped the switch for the first time to allow the LiDAR to control the hydrofoil altitude. Nada from me. <laughs> this hydrofoil is running the exact same code on Arduplane that Daniel and Sebastian came up with for an earlier ground effect vehicle collaboration. The LiDAR senses its distance from the water, and the code uses the input to maintain a specified altitude over the surface <laughs> automatically. Good job, baby. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. Gives you time to hang out with the baby. You don't even have to think about what you're doing. The wife and I wanted to get out of the city for a few days, and I decided to take the hydrofoil to let it soak in the views with us. Food and our cameras and our hydrofoil. We, this is a good day on the lake. I think so. It really performed well, and I wanted to do one more test to get an idea of whether or not this thing could truly run autonomously before adding the solar cells. Early one morning, my friend and I took his boat out and ran this on open water. We're off, huh? Yeah.
They're doing 3.4 amps. Wow. The foil's just gone. <laughs> it hit something. I think it like hit a bird or something. All right, so we got the foil back. I don't see any signs of uh, impact or anything. It just is off, so we'll see what the footage says later. I'm starting to not like this lake very much. <laughs> Okay, so it was not a bird strike. I did not hit a diving bird. Uh, it was actually just a bad repair from previously running aground. So we're doing a proper repair. I'm in the middle of that repair. Uh, even though I didn't get everything that I wanted on that last day, uh, I'm super happy with this thing. So I think it's ready to go for full autonomy. And I do mean full autonomy, not semi-autonomous. Thanks to my buddy Nick Ream, whose channel is here. He sent me a Raspberry Pi with a, his own flight controller and a special camera. So this thing will be fully autonomous. Yeah, stay tuned for the next video on the solar powered hydrofoil.